to my channel. So in this video I did another look using the Anastasia's Riviera palette and this is the look that I came up with. If you want to see how I create this look using the more neutral shades in the palette then please continue watching this video and if you've enjoyed it then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. See you all soon. So I'm first going to pick up the shade of which is a dark brown colour and I'm literally going to pat this colour on all over my crease and I'm slowly going to build up the colour and then I'll then go in and blend the edges out using little circular motions. orange colour and I picked up a more fluffier brush just to blend out those edges and working up towards my brow and now I'm just going to go back in with that palm shade colour and just pack it on again because it was blended out just to bring back the colour intensity. <laughs> To highlight and erase any colour that's gone way up, up to my brows, I'm using the shade, I think it's called Sales, and this is just a pure matte white. And again, I'm just going to go in and just intensify, intensify those colours again and go back in with that big fluffy brush to make sure everything is blended seamlessly. Then I'm going to work on the lower lash line and use the shade Palm to begin with, and then I'll smoke it out with the shade Coastline. So I'm going to cut my crease using the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Laying Low and I did go in sections with this but I just speed up the process for you because I feel like if you work in smaller sections it allows you to um, build that crease shade and to cut that crease as well. shade palm just to further cut the crease line and then I picked up this Makeup Geek uh, Soft Definer crease brush just to bring back the, um, the harsh line that I wanted to go when I cut the crease. And then for the eyelid colour I went in the shade Yacht which is like a true gold and I first sprayed my brush with some setting spray just so that I can make the eyeshadow look a bit more foiled. You will then see me going back in with that white shade Sails and I'm applying this just underneath where I cut the crease and I just wanted this to give it a bit more of a graphic editorial look if you like to say. So in a way it looks like I've got a bit of eyeliner there but I haven't and I use that same shade in the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just going in with the liner and just mascara as usual. the inner corner of my eyes using the shade Seaside and applying that white colour allows this colour to come through a bit more. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade Sails and a little bit of Seaside I think I used to highlight my brow bone. So for the lip I went in with Human Nature from Jeffree Star. Um, I just wanted a nude lip for this look and I think it paired really nicely with it as well. I hope you really enjoyed watching this little quick tutorial. If you did then please give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Thanks, bye! When I'm next to you.